here at ABC 15, we take action to keep our viewers safe and work for positive change on our roads, in people's behavior, or in the law. But sometimes Operation Safe Roads takes on the role of educating once changes are already in place. Dan Spindle has the story. Well, by the numbers, we know that Arizona is not the safest place for pedestrians. In fact, it's dangerous. And as part of Operation Safe Roads, we've done a whole lot of stories about this potentially deadly trend. Dave Gustafson from Phoenix says you had a previous show about hawk crosswalks. Now show how drivers are supposed to react to those. Drivers do not understand flashing red lights and yielding to pedestrians. Film a segment showing this action, like at 30th Street and Indian School Road. Well, what do you know, Dave? Here we are at what is the busiest pedestrian beacon in the entire city of Phoenix. Someone uses this crosswalk about a dozen times every hour of every day. But as a driver, it doesn't have to intimidate you. All you got to do is learn the rules of the road. So let's dive right into it. In order for the lights to start flashing, somebody has to activate this crosswalk, meaning they've got to push the button or else all you'll see is a dark sign and that's fine. You can just keep moving forward safely. Of course, driving the speed limit. Once someone does push the button, the first thing you see is five seconds of cautionary flashing yellow lights. The flashing yellow gives way to a solid yellow, and that means what it means at any intersection across the state of Arizona. Use caution and prepare to stop. After the solid yellow light, it gives way to a solid red light. That means stop. The people crossing the street then have about 20 to 25 seconds, depending on the width of the street, to make their way safely across. Then you'll see a flashing red light. Now here's the tricky part. The flashing red light, as you can see from the sign, means stop and proceed when safe. Once the people get across the street, the flashing lights may continue, but you can decide as the motorist to proceed safely once they are out of the crosswalk, even if the lights are still going. The city of Phoenix has put up about 44 of these pedestrian beacons over the course of the last decade or so, and they have 22 more in the planning stages. So if you haven't seen them in your neck of the woods, the chances are you're going to. If you've got an idea that you'd like us to check into out on the Phoenix area roadways, email us, call us. There's the hotline and the address right there on your screen. For Operation Safe Roads in Phoenix, I'm Dan Spindle, ABC 15 Arizona.